And I'm cutting across to Moshmi, joining us live for more on that. Moshmi, we know the Prime Minister right before the special session started and when they were uh, recounting all the best and the worst, bittersweet memories within the old parliament building, you also had the Prime Minister suggest that there are going to be some historic decisions that will be taken in this special parliament session the next four days. Is there any buzz on what it could be? Eight bills have already been mentioned as part of their agenda, but it seems like there's another big surprise that may crop up. Uh, Nabila, you're right when you say that there could be another surprise that could crop up and the government has something up its sleeves. But it's not really clear what. Uh, we could only, uh, there is a lot of speculation as far as, you know, there could be uh, probably the women's reservation bill could come up or something on one nation, one election or something related to the OBC reservation uh, could also, OBC bill could also come up. But uh, because the Rohini Commission has also submitted its report to the President of India. So uh, we are not really clear uh, because there have been no clear indications from the government or and none of the ministers have answered that question. Um, in fact, on the Women Reservation Bill, Prahlad Joshi said that uh, when the opposition pressed for its uh, demand, its demand for the Women Reservation Bill to be brought yesterday, he said at an appropriate time. But there's been no denial of that. So uh, the, uh, the most speculated is that Women Reservation Bill, which could be a shot in the arm for the BJP in the upcoming assembly elections, uh, there's a high probability that it could be brought. But today's cabinet, uh, perhaps uh, we are told, is also uh, more to discuss how the uh, discuss about uh, the inauguration yeah. of uh, a formal inauguration when all the MPs enter to conduct business in the new building tomorrow. Whether the Women Reservation Bill is also discussed and the Cabinet approves that, we'll have to wait till 6.30 for that. Right. Mm -hmm. and, and, and since you rightly brought that up, Cabinet meeting now has been called in by the BJP. The Centre has asked their ministers to be in attendance all at 6.30 p.m. this evening. Uh, you mentioned that this could be about uh, coordinating well for transition from the old Parliament building to the new. But uh, what more do we know of the, uh, the actual agenda of this Cabinet meeting, a special Cabinet meeting that's held uh, this evening, Moshme? Well, Nabila, of course, it will be discussed. There was the schedule for tomorrow. We do believe that there is a, a photo session that's uh, slated to happen tomorrow about at 12.30. Before that, 11 o'clock, perhaps the MPs would enter the new building. Uh, and then there could be a, there is a formal um, a sabha that's been called upon. So uh, after that, uh, the photo session of all MPs uh, has, all the MPs have been informed that there is a photo session. And in between all this, all the opposition MPs, several parties have issued three line whips for all MPs to be there. Because tomorrow being a historic uh, day and a, a new page in the history of uh, Indian politics being added, you can see behind me, this is the old building. 73 years of history scripted in this old building. Yeah. It's witnessed uh, India pass on from, uh, you know, uh, one, uh, one decade to another, you know, leaving the past behind, moving into the future, to, you know, also witnessing that how India actually has landed on the moon. So uh, today was a celebration of sorts when all the MPs discussed right. uh, 75 years of so, and, and uh, we saw that the interesting play of words on both sides, Moshmi. Uh, be it the Prime Minister or uh, the opposition's Adhir Ranjan Chaudhary, Malikarjan Kharge, uh, while remembering all the bittersweet moments and short pot shots at one another at the same time. So uh, it's going to be, of course, historic, undoubtedly, this transition from the old parliament building to the new. All of that is going to take place tomorrow morning, um, right after Ganesh, uh, Ganesh Utsav celebration. It's a, there's going to be a puja, and then this move will take place, this transition itself will take place. But ahead of this five day long, special session. Prime Minister Modi, who addressed the parliament right outside uh, the parliament building, he spoke to the media briefly and in a taunt to the opposition.
opposition parties. Prime Minister Modi said the opposition parties should really get over with all their rona dhona and it's about time that they get to work. Emphasizing that this is a short yet an important parliament session, uh, Modi says, or rather hinted at a probable historic decision that's likely to be taken in the special parliament session the next four days. Meanwhile, Prime Minister Modi's comments haven't really gone down well with the opposition parties as they've reacted uh, sharply. In fact, earlier during this address in the parliament, Prime Minister Modi took a jibe at the infamous incidents that's happened under the UPA rule. Let's have a quick listen to all the jibes that were taken back and forth. अनेक प्रकार से महत्वपूर्ण ये सत्र है मैं सभी आदरणीय सांसदों से आग्रह करता हूं कि छोटा सत्र है ज्यादा से ज्यादा समय उनका मिले उमंग और उत्साह के वातावरण में मिले रोने धोने के लिए बहुत समय होता है करते रहिए इसी सदन ने इमरजेंसी में लोकतंत्र पर होता हुआ हमला भी देखा था और इसी सदन ने भारत के लोगों की ताकत को एहसास कराते हुए मजबूत लोकतंत्र की वापसी भी इसी सदन ने देखी थी इसी सदन में मनमोहन जी की सरकार कैश फॉर वोट को भी उस कांड को भी सदन ने देखा है कुछ कड़वी यादें वो भी हैं कि तेलंगाना के हक को दबोचने के लिए भारी प्रयास हुए खून की नदियां भी वही और बनने के बाद न तेलंगाना उत्सव मना पाया न आंध्र उत्सव मना पाया एक कटुता के बीज बो दिए गए अच्छा होता उसी उमंग और उत्साह के साथ हम तेलंगाना का निर्माण करते तो एक नई ऊंचाई पर आज तेलंगाना पहुंच चुका होता मैं समझता हूं आजादी के बाद सबसे ज्यादा रोने धोने वाले प्रधानमंत्री अगर कोई है तो नरेंद्र मोदी जी हैं उससे ज्यादा किसी ने रोया धोया हो आज तक तो बता दीजिए हर बात पर रोते हैं नोटबंदी करेंगे आप परेशान हो जाइए मर जाइए फिर रोने आ जाएंगे कोरोना की महामारी होगी लाखों लोग मर जाएंगे फिर रोने आ जाएंगे इसरो के वैज्ञानिक कुछ करेंगे तो उस पर रोने मतलब हर चीज में उनको रोना I'm not cribbing. I, I, did, I, did you hear me cribbing? I'm happy the session is there. I hope we can deliver and do something good for the country.